Jackie, what's wrong? I can't get this jar open. Maybe you can help me. Oh, absolutely. I'd love to try. <sighs> Yay! I got it. I'm so glad that I could help. Yes, that's right. Because everything's better when we work together. That's what our lesson's all about today. Mm -hmm. Guess what we're going to do? What? We're going to read a Bible story. We're going to play a game. We have a really yummy snack, which we're going to use what's in that jar. And we're going to do some worship. Sounds fun. So why don't we do worship first so everybody get up, stand to your feet, and let's worship God now. <laughs> Let not your hearts be troubled Believe in me Oh, oh, oh I'm going there to prepare A place for you Oh, oh, oh Where I go
we're talking a lot about teamwork and unity today, and I know that it's not always easy to get along or to do things by yourself. So we enlisted our handy friends to show us a few different situations where they figured out their differences. Let's watch the first one now. Okay kids, you have time for one more hour of TV and I'm gonna go make some lunch, okay? I wanna play Super Smash Brothers. Well, I wanna play Animal Crossing. Kids, if you don't stop arguing, neither of you are gonna play anything. Find a way to make it work and be sweet to one another. Okie dokie, artichokey. Ugh, fine. I'm sorry, sister. I'm sorry too, brother. I really do want to play Animal Crossing, though. Well, I want to play Super Smash Brothers, too. Look, Mom said we can have one hour of TV time. What if we split it up? We play one game for a half hour and another game for the other half hour. Then we can both play and have fun. What do you think? You're a genius! Okay! Wow, what a great compromise. Let's watch our next situation. I'm the best batter on this team. What? I think I'm the best batter on this team. Well, I'm gonna hit a home run. Well, I'm gonna hit a home run. Well, guess what? I'm a year older, two inches taller, and I've been playing for two more weeks than you. It's okay that I'm better. You'll catch up eventually. <laughs> hey kids, what's going on here? Johnny doesn't think I'm good enough to hit a home run. He says he's better than me. Now I don't even want to play. <laughs> Did you say that, Johnny? Yeah, I guess that wasn't very nice. No, it wasn't. It never helps to put someone down. Don't you realize you're on the same team? It's better for everyone when we all do well. It's great when you're both good at what you do. Two home run hitters is way better than one star. Remember that. Play for the benefit of the whole team not to look better than everyone else. We'd really be short-handed, Billy, if you didn't play today. I hope you change your mind. You're right, coach. I'm really sorry, Billy. You actually are a really good hitter. Please play with us. We need you. Aw, well, thanks, Johnny. It's okay. All right, now, let's win this game together with the rest of the team. All right. All right, that turned out really good. And let's watch our last situation. Uh. Uh. Hey, Super Stick, what seems to be the problem? I can't lift the couch by myself, and there's my toy underneath, and I really could use some help. I'm happy to help you. Let's do it together. Uh. Yeah! There it is. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Handy Stick. Sometimes we all need a friend to help. See guys, it really is better when we work together. All right, are you guys ready to work together for a game right now? Because it's game time. So clear your vision and get ready to play right now. Hey there, I'm Coach. Welcome to today's game. It's called Blur It Out. We're gonna show you pictures of food items that are better when they're together. So it's gonna be a blurry picture and you need to shout it out if you think you can see it. We're gonna give you 10 seconds for each picture. Here we go, picture number one. Oh, do you know what it is? All right, halfway there. Shout it out if you know. And it's chips and salsa, yeah. Good job, who got it right? Who got it right? Who got it right? All right. Let's go to picture number two now. Ooh, this is a hard one. Do you know what it is? Halfway there, shout out your guesses. Here we go. It's hamburger and french fries. Woo, I love hamburgers. Let's go to our third picture now. Oh, I wonder what that is. That is a blurry picture. Hmm, I love this, it's so yummy. Shout out your answers. Here we go, it's macaroni and cheese. 
better when they're together. All right, next picture, now. Ooh, can someone say dessert? All right, shout out your answers. Better together, and the answer is milk and cookies, yeah! How many of you eat milk and cookies every night? It's probably not healthy. So, so eat some vegetables instead. All right, let's get the next picture. Oh, is this a morning time or nighttime snack? Who knows? Depends on what day it is. Can you guess what it is? I'm gonna tell you, it's pancakes and syrup. Yeah, sometimes you eat them in the morning, sometimes you eat them at night, nice. All right, let's get the next picture. All right. That's a blurry picture, that is. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, shout out your guesses. Better when they're paired together. And the answer is peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, that's a good sandwich to have any time of day. All right, let's go to our next picture. Hmm, I see the color red. I see something else that I like to eat. Can you guys guess what it is? All right, I'm gonna tell you the answer. It's french fries and ketchup, yeah! Good job, who got that one? Who got that one? All right, let's go to the next picture. All right, this one's all blurred out. Oh, this is a good, think about Italian food. I like Italian food. Okay, shout out your answer. I'm gonna get to it right now. It's spaghetti and meatballs, mm -hmm. I love spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, let's go to our second to last picture now. Huh? What is this? Wow. I do not know what this one is, do you? All right, here we go. It's sprinkles and donuts. Yeah, woohoo. Okay, I like sprinkles and donuts. I like all this food. Okay, last picture, boys and girls. Very last picture. Here we go. Oh, oh, on a cold night, you might wanna drink something warm. And the answer for this blurred picture is hot cocoa and marshmallows. Yeah! All these foods are so tasty. Well, once again, this is Coach, and this game is called Blur It Out. Thanks for playing today. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey there, I'm Mr. Mike. Today, we're gonna be unboxing the Bible. It's like unwrapping a brand new toy on your birthday or at Christmas, but it's way better because it's God's word. Today's word is you. N I T Y. Unity. The word unity comes from the Bible verse Psalm 133, verse 1, which says, How good and pleasant it is for God's people to dwell together in unity. And say it again with me Psalm 133, 1. How good and pleasant it is for God's people to dwell together in unity. Thanks for joining me for today's Bible verse. Up next, Jackie has a lesson for us and it's on the topic of unity. <laughs> hey kids, welcome to today's lesson. Today, our story is all about unity. What is unity? Unity is when we all come together. Can you guys make a big circle with your hands like this? We all come together as one. Let me see all your number ones. Great. Yes, unity is when we all come together as one. Unity is very important to God. He wants us to be in unity with each other and have peace with each other and love each other. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Who here has a brother or a sister? Raise your hand. Okay, maybe you don't have a brother or sister, but who here has a friend? Raise your hand. All right, and last question. Who here has just someone else they live with? Maybe it's your parents or an aunt, an uncle, a grandma, grandpa, raise your hand. 
All right, that's a lot of people in your life. Now, tell me something else. Have you ever gotten in an argument, meaning like a fight, with one of those people? Even though you love them, maybe you guys disagreed. Has anybody ever gotten in a fight with someone they love? Yeah, that happens. Sometimes we don't always agree, meaning we don't always think the same thing. Maybe you wanted to do one thing and your sibling wanted to do something else. And then you clash, right? Sometimes we don't always agree, but God wants us to get along even when we don't agree. So our lesson today comes out of the book of 1 Corinthians. Can you guys say Corinthians? It has a lot of syllables. Corinthians. Let's hear it. All right, good job. So Paul wrote this letter to the Corinthian church. Now he had planted this church, started this church, and then he went away. And while he was gone, he heard that there was a lot of problems in the church. They had division. Do you guys know what division is? Okay, I want to show you. Put your two hands together like this. Yeah, kind of like prayer hands. See how they're together? Now pull your hands apart. That is dividing. It's when you separate something. So the church, instead of being together like this and being like one, they were separate like this because they were fighting. And Paul did not want them to fight. There was a lot of people at the time that were sharing God's message and some of the people thought, oh, that guy told the gospel better than that guy, so I'm going to follow this guy. Or they would say, oh, this guy's a much better teacher than that guy, so I'm going to follow him. But do you guys think it's about this guy or that guy? No, it's about this guy, Jesus. Everything is about Jesus. And that's why Paul wrote this letter. He didn't want the people to fight. He wanted them to come together so that they can all work together for, for who? Yes, for Jesus. God always wants us to be together because we are brothers and sisters in Christ. What does that mean? Okay, well, when we believe in Jesus, we become part of God's family, meaning we're all in the same family when we believe. And you know if you have siblings, sometimes you don't always get along, but God wants us to put him first and each other first so that we can get along and love each other. So I have a very yummy example of what coming together looks like. Why don't you guys watch this now? Look at all these apples. Each of them looks different from the other. And that's just like us. Not just on the outside we all look different, but we're also different in our skills, talents, and our opinions. Now look what happens when the apple gets cut in half. All the apples look the same at the core. There's a core and seeds and a stem, and that's just like us. At the core, we are all God's creations. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Now let's see what happens when we mix all these different kinds of apples together and see what kind of work they can do. Something smells good. All right, so what happens when you put all of us different apples together and sprinkle the Holy Spirit over us? You get applesauce. I know a lot of you guys like applesauce. Maybe you like it in those little squeezy pouches or you like the little container that you rip it off of, but homemade applesauce is so yummy. So I'm gonna taste what it's like when we all come together. Mmm, mm-hmm. We are better together, you guys. Unity is sweet. So remember, God wants you to do things for the good of everybody. Do what you can to keep peace with your friends, with your siblings, with your family, and do everything for the glory of, do you know who? God, yes, that's right, you guys are so smart. Well, I'm gonna keep eating my applesauce here. I really enjoyed our study together today and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye. It's snacky time.
Hey kids, I'm Jackie, and welcome to Snacky Time! All right, well, we have a very fun snack for you guys today. So, you know, we're doing, uh, we have a whole like better together theme, and I was thinking, what food is better together? And you know what came to mind? Peanut butter and jelly. When you put them together, it's the most delicious treat, unless you don't like peanut butter. But then you can try this with almond butter or with sunflower butter, that's really good too. So we're gonna make a yogurt parfait. That's just a fancy word for a layered yogurt dessert. And this is gonna be so good and also really sweet. It sounds healthy, but it's kinda like a dessert. So what you need to start is some, I have Greek yogurt, but you can use whatever kind of yogurt you want, and I just have a vanilla flavor. And then I have creamy peanut butter, but you can use chunky, or like I said, you can use almond butter or sunflower butter. I also have jam. My choice of jam is raspberry, but maybe you like strawberry. Maybe you like grape or blueberry, so pick the jam of your choice. And then I have some granola here, and I have some fresh strawberries. And I have these cute two little bowls because when you eat something, you wanna eat it out of something cute. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my yogurt, and I'm going to put a layer of yogurt at the bottom. Just like this. All right, step one is done. Now we're gonna add our jam. So it's handy if maybe you have a little helper spoon for this, so I have one spoon for jam. And since the jam doesn't really come off the spoon that good, I'm gonna use a second spoon and just scoop it on the top. We'll do one more, because I like jam. Jam or jelly, I don't really know the difference, but they're both so good. Okay, and let's do one on the other one, because we're making a snack for us and a friend, because it's better to have snacks together. All right, so now we have our jam in there, and now I'm going to take some peanut butter. Now, peanut butter is really hard to get off the spoon, so we definitely need to use our helper spoon we're gonna give it a nice big spoonful dollop right on the top there. I love peanut butter, so I might be putting a lot on here. You can put as much or as little as you like. There we go. Oh, I need like my helper spoons back and forth. Okay, just like that. And now I'm gonna set my spoons to the side. I'm gonna use those same spoons to eat the yogurt with. So now what I'm gonna do is take my granola just like this, and sprinkle it on. Sprinkle. You can use any kind of granola you like. And hey, if you don't have granola, I bet you some Cheerios, some crunchy sort of cereal would be really good on top of this. We just wanna add a layer of crunch, because I love crunchy and creamy and sweet all together. Okay, perfect, we're almost done, you guys. So now what I'm gonna do is cut our strawberries. So this is where you would get a parent or an older sibling to help you. I'm only using a little plastic knife here and I'm gonna cut my strawberries in little slices. So I can fan them out real pretty on top. Okay, so see how I've sliced it? Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna stick that right across. Now, of course, that's for looks only because I'm gonna plunge my spoon in and mix this all up, but it looks really cute to start. Let me do one more. And look how cute the fanned sliced strawberries look. I love this, so now I'm gonna stick that on. Just like that. And that's it, voila, we're done with our snack. Do you guys think that I should try this new snack? I think so too. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of my spoons here that I already used, because I don't wanna do more dishes, and I'm gonna just pick this up. Oh, look how yummy. It even smells good, it smells like peanut butter cookies. So now I'm just gonna mix it up a little. We made it really cute, but now we're gonna just smash it. Yum, because we kind of want to mix that peanut butter and the jam together in with the yogurt. It's okay if you get a little messy. That's what napkins are for. Okay, ready, steady. Mmm, mmm. This 
tastes like a peanut butter jelly sandwich and ice cream mixed together with strawberries. Whoa, so good. Well, I'm gonna go eat this snack. I had so much fun cooking with you today, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, well, it was so fun learning why it's better when we work together. And we have one last experiment to show you why it's better to work together as a team than just as one. Are you ready for this? I'm ready, I'm excited. <gasps> Excellent! Okay, so Mr. Mike here is sitting on a chair and he's going to stand up and stand on this one single egg on the ground. Let's see what happens. Ready, steady, go! Splat! <laughs> that egg cracked. It definitely cracked. Was it because it was alone? It was because it was alone. It couldn't handle all that weight. Just one tiny egg. But do you guys think that maybe if we put some eggs together that it could work? I think it's worth a try. All right, let's see what happens when Mr. Mike stands on two dozen eggs working together. All right, ready? Three, two... One. I'm doing it! I'm standing on eggs! This is amazing! <laughs> None of them are cracking. Wow, it worked! Boys and girls, make sure to find us on Instagram at Harvest Kids Live <laughs> and on YouTube at Harvest Kids Live. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Talk about walking on eggshells. <laughs>